Extol sent me a P2 to review, and I have to say, I am very, very impressed. I was very, very impressed. That is, until I installed this guy. This is the conveyor that you can order with the X-Tool as an accessory. And what it does is conveys longer material through the X-Tool P2 that you can either cut or engrave. Now, let me clarify. The P2 has worked phenomenal until I installed the conveyor. I think I know the fix. We're going to go through that together. First, I want to show you what it's doing. Then I'm going to show you what I think the fix is. And then we're going to try it again. And I'm hoping, I am hoping that it fixes that I'm, I'm hoping that it works. So in order to use the conveyor, you first have to assemble and install the P2 riser base. There's nothing to it. The instructions are very easy, very clear to follow. This is not going to be an assembly video. This is going to be the issues that I'm having with the actual machine itself. You have to have the P2 base, which is a pretty handy little thing. You can store stuff in it. The other side does not have storage but it's a very cool tool to have because you can pass thicker stock through the actual machine. So once you have the base installed, it's time to put the conveyor into place. So the process of hooking up the conveyor really doesn't take that long, especially if you've done it about 15 times. It takes about 5 or 10 minutes to get the conveyor and the roller feeders hooked up, screwed down tight and secured into place. Right now we're going to hop over to Creative Space. Off camera, this isn't a Creative Space tutorial. A little simple design that we're going to cut out on a 4 foot long by 12 inch wide board and about a quarter inch thick. Okay, so the design is set, the pressure is set, we are good to go. We're going to start cutting. All we're going to do is cut out a simple word that says fresh for the length of this sign. It should be a pretty simple process. Here we go. So here's the issue. It's still running the laser, but the conveyor is not feeding the material. The laser still runs on this axis, but the conveyor has stripped, and look. That's a major issue. And it's ticking me off, man. So you can see where the design messed up on the R due to the conveyor. The E is coming out pretty well. I'm still going to run it. I'm still going to run it and see how the rest of it does because it did better than it typically does. So we'll see. So believe it or not, this is actually the best that it's performed with the conveyor since I've had it. I actually thought it wasn't going to do what it typically does, but it did. So the issue is that the conveyor strips out and sometimes it causes the laser to lose track of where it's at on the project. So I'm not sure what's going on with the technical side of it, but I think I found the issue. And if you recall in my last P2 video, there was a lot of desiccant in the 
there was a lot of desiccant spread throughout the entire machine. A desiccant bag popped whenever it was shipped. Undoubtedly, there is desiccant inside of that port. But before we get going on that, I do want to say Xtools customer service has been very, very responsive. I always look at the customer service whenever I'm looking for a tool, especially when it's a high investment like this one would be for anybody else that would be buying this machine. Xtool has been phenomenal in customer service. They have answered all my questions. They worked hand in hand with me in trying to figure out what's exactly going on. That being said, we haven't really come to a conclusion except for I think this is it. So if you're having this same issue with the conveyor, this may or may not be the fix. You should always reach out to customer service to get the best course of action. That being said, let me show you what's inside this port. And I really hope this is the issue because I want to be able to use the conveyor to make templates. Look inside the port. Can you see that? I think that's inhibiting or prohibiting a proper connection. I had to order a special tool to be able to make this fix. Tweezers. Hopefully this will work. And of course, these tweezers are too big. So I noticed, taking a picture and zooming in, that each of these prongs have a slit. And each of these slits are kind of clogged with debris. So I'm just using a tweezer to kind of get in between those grooves and clean that connection out. So I think that got it. We're about to try it one more time. And if it doesn't work, this is an issue that Xtool is going to have to address. Connected. The pressure gauge is right here. This calls for a double red pressure. And one of the main issues has been the conveyor stripping out and not being able to convey or feed the material. Hopefully that issue is fixed with this port being cleaned out. We'll see. Let's do it again. Start. We're going to go to the machine and hope it's fixed. It worked. <clears throat> now, it didn't cut all the way through, and that's mainly operator error. But it worked just fine this go-around. The H didn't cut out, again, because of operator error. I forgot to account for the extra length you need to leave in order for it to stay attached to the conveyor rollers. It rolled a little bit too far, and it lost all contact with the conveyor, so the laser just sat there burning the route and the track that it should have burned. But there was nothing to convey it back and forth. The laser only moves on the sideways axis. I think it's the x-axis whenever it's in the conveyor mode. But it worked. And I think that's really important to note that it worked mainly due to the input from the customer service department. If you're going to buy a big tool, any tool in general, you should expect to have some kind of issues, right? They're still made by humans. But, especially for a large investment like this, you should be able to have access to a good quality customer service department that can walk you through the fixes and the repairs or be willing to replace the machine. And that's something I want to bring up. Xtool was going to replace this machine entirely if this fix did not work. I think that speaks volumes for the type of quality company that we're dealing with here. The only issues I have left to work out are my own, ignorance 
because the machine now is working just fine. Would I buy the conveyor? Absolutely. I have so many plans for this conveyor. I'm looking forward to be able to use it to make templates, make signs, things like that. So if you're looking at the conveyor, just I would just check the port before you get going. You do need to order the rollers. You do need to order the P2 riser base in order to make the conveyor work. But the issues I've had with it are resolved thanks to x -Tool customer service. If you're interested in this machine or any other machine, there will be links down below to get you a good discount code. I want to give a big shout out to x -Tool. Thank you so much for the prompt responses, the patience with me, and the delays that I've had with the video, trying to figure this out myself. When I stopped trying to figure it out myself and I reached out to customer service, that's when this deal got fixed. So if you like the video, like and subscribe. And thank you as always for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.